Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. This video is very important to protect your personal computer, from any threats of data loss due to ransomware that may destroy your computer. Ransomware is one of the most common malicious programs that infect computers, because it encrypts all data, whether it is documents, videos, or personal photos. All the data on the computer. And the matter may reach preventing you from accessing the data, by changing the password for your computer, and preventing you from log in your computer. Then he leaves you an email for you to communicate with to pay the ransom money, lots of people and companies as well as hospitals and universities have fallen victim to ransomware programs. There aren't many options for protecting against ransomware, except for using permanent backup data, whether in the cloud or backing up on an external hard drive. Or use a program that creates a firewall, such as Microsoft's protection from ransomware. Microsoft has a built-in control for Windows 10 to help protect against ransomware, by making a list of the folders you choose, this list will still be protected from ransomware attacks. Now, we will learn how to enable ransomware protection in Windows 10. Open Windows Settings from the Start menu. In the Settings, Select the Update and Security tab. On the left side, click on the Windows Security panel. Select Virus and Threat Protection from the Windows Security. Scroll down to reveal the Ransomware Protection menu, and then select the Manage Ransomware Protection option. Simply toggle the controlled folder access button to ON to enable ransomware protection on Windows 10. This basically restricts any unknown entities from making any changes to the files of your PC. Once the controlled folder access is turned ON, you'll find three options. The first is block history. It contains all the notifications that it has blocked or any action taken by ransomware protection. This is a great place to check how well you are protected, because it will keep any change that happens in the list of protected files. Secondly, protected folders. By default it will protect Windows 10 system folders, and you can add any folder you want to this list. Ransomware protection only protects the folders listed here. So add all the important folders. Click on add a protected folder, and browse your folders and add what you want. Remember that ransomware protection only protects the folders listed here. The last one, allow an app through controlled folder access. Sometimes programs and applications make legitimate changes to the folders of applications that allow the addition of any application in this list, with the exception of trusted programs only, and make sure it is not harmful. It also provides you with simply creating an online backup for both your external hard drive, and OneDrive or any other cloud platform. After registering your email you can create a backup copy of your folders. Ransomware protection may not be sufficient for protection at times, you can easily pair with a cloud account to recover exclusive ransomware data. I will explain how to keep a backup copy on the cloud, and how to restore it in another video. In the end, all users should enable protection from ransomware in Windows Defender, to protect their data and computers. Thank you for watching and I hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.